I'm Joshua Birdwell, and you're going to learn something today. If you've ever encountered this error message when you insert the SD card from your DJI FPV goggles into your computer, you need to format the disk in Drive K before you can use it. Do you want to format it? I don't know. Do you want to lose all of your freaking precious DVR? And when I encountered this problem, it drove me crazy. Because here's the thing. I could put the card in the DJI goggles and I could see all the files. The DJI goggles could clearly read the files. The files were clearly there, but my freaking computer could not read the files from the card. And if you've encountered this problem, I have two pieces of advice for you. Number one, before you go fly, always format the SD card in the goggles or in the air unit. Even like just just do it as a precaution at the beginning of the day. Of, obviously, don't do it if you've got data on there. Use a different SD card. But just put the SD card in and format it but, uh, at the beginning of the day of flying. My guess is that the reason this happened is because I inserted a card that was formatted in some other thing and it kind of screwed things up. I don't know. That's good advice. Anytime you're working with any kind of camera or whatever, format it in the device because sometimes it'll do weird things in the format that your computer doesn't do. So that helps you avoid the situation. But what if you are in the situation, then what? How do you get your data off this card? I am happy to tell you, I tried, I'm not going to say every, but I tried basically every data recovery tool out there and none of them worked except for this one. The only thing I've found that can get the files back in this situation is Wondershare Recover It. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not an affiliate. I have no relationship with Wondershare at all, except that Ken Heron told me that he had used Recover It in the past when he couldn't get his files off his SD card. And it was the only tool I could find, including several paid tools that actually was able to get the files off and, uh, you know, make me able to get my data again. So if you find yourself in this situation, I can personally vouch for this one. I bought a license for it. I have used it a couple times when this error has popped up and it has saved my butt. Um, if Wondershare wants to pay me for this, I certainly would love for them to write me a check. <laughs> but in the meantime, I just get the good feeling of knowing that maybe somewhere out there, there's somebody who I've helped to get their data back. So uh, happy flying guys. That's it.